Hey YouTube, Pensacola Fishing Forum. This is Limit Out. You're watching me fish on the 8th and the 9th of September morning. All right, what you just saw was me losing a redfish on a uh, top water. That was a, um, a white spook. The trout were eating on some white skitter walks. I don't know if it makes too much of a difference, but the redfish were just eating up the spooks and the trout were hitting the skitters. But uh, here we go with another trout here in the same area. This particular area is about one foot, you know, a nice grassy flat, and the fish were just stacked up on it. I mean, they were heavy and they were aggressive. Um, not too far away is about 14 feet, so it's a pretty dramatic uh, edge there, and I'm fishing the shallow part of it. Um, if you look at the water, it's a little bit choppy, the camera doesn't give that too much justice, but trust me, it was. The fish really wanted that top water. It was really grabbing their attention, and uh, they just had a little bit of trouble honing in on it. Now, this is the following day. Uh, the sun's already up a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit slow, catching a lot of small specks, small reds on a Dean. You know, I try working it slow, and uh, yeah, it's just still not too productive. I'm also fishing a neap tide. And um, it gets a little bit frustrating when all you can catch is small fish after small fish, you know, looking for that quality fish. But uh, by that time, time is up, and that sun is just right over your head, beaming down on you. Water temperature jumps up another 5 degrees. You start wondering to yourself, you know, what can I do to uh, pick up on a more productive bite with some quality fish? And you'll see that soon later on in this video. But the fight this morning has not been wide open at all. The top water bite at night was actually better than it is right now. Catching short trout. That's about it so far. Got a couple reds. Okay, here we are. It is now the 9th, uh, 2.08 a.m. The thunderstorm kind of held us back in a little bit of a late start, but it cleared up for us. It's awesome. And uh, the full moon is still out, and uh, there's absolutely no wind. Um, so the storm is gone. It's blowing out there in the middle of the gulf, stirring everything up. The high tide is going to push in here pretty soon with some nice cool water. And uh, I think we can do a pretty good uh, whooping today as long as the fish are eating, and I'm sure they are. All right, here I am fishing at night now, and uh, you know, we're using popping corks with some shrimp on the end, uh, whether it be DOA or live shrimp alike. And, uh, and I know it's hard to see everybody, but we were catching some decent trout, you know, 15, 16, 17, you know, a couple short ones as well. Um, it's a neap tide, you know, it's a little bit tough. And one thing I would say about fishing a neap tide is look for moving water, find some wind. Uh, find a bank where the current or the wind is pressing up against it. It'll help a lot. And uh, that's the biggest key, I think, in fishing a neap tide at night or even during the daytime is finding moving water. Okay, you're about to see it here in just a couple of seconds where I decide to pick up a spook. And we we're actually getting a lot of really good action on the top water. It was really cool just tossing that top water around the docks, getting some really quick action, getting those reaction bites with uh, bigger fish. And uh, we didn't record it all, but it was a very, very productive night, and we picked up on that pattern. And it's definitely one I'd re recommend to all of you to use.
lots of trout, people. On a neat tide, top water action. Hell yeah. Okay, and I gotta back this up a little bit. Got another nice speck on, ladies and gentlemen. That's how Limit Out defeats the neat. Hey YouTube, uh, Pensacola Fishing Forum, it's Lemon out here, it is uh, 10 to 5 in the morning and uh, it is the 10th of September. Uh, I just want to do a little recap here, um, the night's pretty much over, here we are here in IHOP now. Um, today's fishing actually went pretty good, uh, caught a lot of fish on top water which was surprising. We started the day or the night I should say using shrimp and uh, bull minnows, casting them around docks, catching nothing but really short specks, a short red, I mean nothing to even brag about, ladyfish here and there. Um, and then I decided to pick up the spook, started casting it around the dock bites and boom we were getting reaction hits on better bigger fish. It's awesome. So that was really cool. We were able to cast around the docks and uh, get a lot faster action rather than using bait. Um, the neap tide definitely recommend fishing at night the water is not moving much during the day it's hot um, the morning bite is even shortened now so i definitely recommend fishing uh the night as you can see in the previous videos uh we did all right we did pretty good um a tip about using the spook at night or even during the daytime is to um not only keep your rod tip down and twitch with your wrist but have your drag loose that way when the fish hits this lure it's going to be able to take drag and you can pull back without ripping the hooks out of the fish's mouth um, i think that was able to let me bring in a couple of the fish that i brought in today other than that really good day i think the uh the biggest trout we caught today was about 24 inches uh, i haven't measured it but uh, it's right around there ballpark and uh stay tuned hopefully i can stay awake